Learn English Through Stories, a 17 PDF. Adapted and modified by Kowant Singh Sandhu. Contents 1. Mini Stories 2. 2. The Bird Who Gave Milk. 3. The Three Wishes. 4. The Story of Nouns 2. 5. Dialogues. 6. Pictured Dictionary Page. 1. Mini Stories 2. A. A Wrestling Match. Last Sunday, I saw a wrestling match. Renhawa and King Kong were the wrestlers. They are very popular wrestlers. So there was a great rush. There was a prize of 50,000 rupees for the winner. Renhawa and King Kong came into the arena. People cheered and shouted. The referee whistled. The wrestlers shook hands. Both were equally strong. They came to grips. They tried every trick. King Kong was becoming tired. Suddenly Ranhawa pulled King Kong. He fell down. Ranhawa at once jumped on him. He turned his face towards him. King Kong's back touched the ground. He lost the match. Ranhawa was declared the winner. He was given the prize. His supporters were super happy. Be a journey by train. Last month, I went to Jalandhar. My uncle lives there. He invited me. I went there by train. I packed my luggage. I took a rickshaw and reached the station. There was a long queue at the booking office. I bought a ticket. I went to the platform. There was a great rush. Soon the train reached Ambala. I got on the train. I got a seat. It was near the window. Then the train started moving. I looked out of the window. I saw green fields. Farmers were working. The cattle were grazing. After an hour and a half, the train reached Ludhiana. I took tea. The train reached Jalanhar just before three o'clock. The journey took two and a half hours. My uncle had come to the station to receive me. We took an auto rickshaw and reached home. Within twenty minutes, we reached my uncle's home. My auntie was as pleased as punch to meet me. See, making friends. Banta lives in the UK. He studies in a college and does a part-time job. Julie is also a student. One day, they met. What is your name? He asked her. My name is Julie King, she answered. What is your name? Julie asked. My name is Banta Singh, he answered. They knew each other's names. They became friends. Banta was tall and skinny. Julie was a little shorter than Banta. She was also skinny. Banta and Julie had black hair. Banta asked Julie if she was busy. She told Banta she was not. Wanna go to the coffee shop? Banta then asked. Julie said sure. They walked to the coffee shop. It was nearby. Banta opened the door for Julie. Julie said thank you. They bought the coffee. They sat down to drink it. They talked to each other. Banta learned about Julie. Julie learned about Banta. The two were alike. Banta walked Julie home. It was nice meeting you, Julie said to Banta. Likewise, Banta replied. D, a hot day. Banta Singh Sand, who lives in New York, America. One day he had a day off from work. He went to the bank to get some cash. It was a hot day. The sun was shining brightly. There were no clouds in the sky. He walked along the street. He was going home. He was hot and tired. He could not wait to get home. He was almost there. 
it was nearly 38 degrees Celsius. There was not another soul in sight. Everybody was at home. His car was not working. He had to walk to his bank. He did not know it was so hot. The bank was not too far. The heat made it seem far away. His throat was dry. He was thirsty for water. He walked with sweat on his back. He arrived home. He went straight to the kitchen. He drank a big cup of water. He took off his clothes. He went to the bathroom. He took a cold bath. It was so refreshing. He stayed in the bath for two hours. He a question for the teacher. Banto lives in New Delhi. She is a student at DPS. She is in the seventh grade. She is an intelligent girl. She never gets less than 95% in her maths homework. Sometimes she talks a lot. Her dad calls her a chatterbox. One day she was at school. Class ended at two o'clock. The teacher discharged the students. Banto rose from her seat. She grabbed her things. She had a backpack and a sweater. She had a question to ask. She waited for the teacher. Some students also had questions to ask. There was a line to see the teacher. She got in line. She had a question about an assignment. The teacher spoke to students one at a time. She waited a while. It was finally her turn to ask. How can I help you? The teacher asked. She asked her question. The teacher gave her the answer. She was glad to hear it. She thanked the teacher who smiled and said, No problem. She went on her way. F, my favorite game. My name is Banta Singh. I live in Jalanhar. I am 15 year old. My sister Sawant Kaur is a student at the DAV College. She plays football. She plays for the college team as a defender. I do not like football. Cricket is my favorite game. It is very popular in some countries. It is played mainly in 14 countries of the world. A cricket team has 11 players. There are three types of matches. The first is a test match. One side bats and the other side bowls. Then the other side bats and the first side bowls. There are two innings. The second is the one-day match. A one-day match is different. One side bats for 50 overs maximum. Then the other side bats for 50 over maximum. Sometimes, teams are out before they complete their overs. The third is a 20-20 or T20. It is similar to one-day cricket. The difference is that the sides only bat for 20 overs maximum. The side which makes more runs wins the match. The one-day match gives much more joy. I enjoy one-day matches. One-day matches are more famous. A test match goes for five days. But a one-day match gives a lot more joy. Most people prefer T20 nowadays. I like cricket both formats T20 and one day. India has a strong cricket team. It is called the Cricket Team of India. Some people are opposing the name India. They say it signifies the British colonialism. They want to use the name Bharat instead of India. They want to call the Indian cricket team as the cricket team of Bharat. But they do not realize that the British brought the game cricket to India. If they don't like the word India, they should dislike the game cricket and play gully danda instead. 2. The bird who gave milk. Once there lived a poor farmer. He had two oxen and a cow. The oxen were strong, but the cow never gave any milk. His children were always deprived of milk. One day, the farmer went to his field to sow seeds. But when he went back the next day, the farmer was shocked to see his fields and shouted. His wife came after hearing his voice. 
Dear, how did the field become bumpy? His wife asked. I will wait tonight and see who did this, the farmer said. That night, the farmer hid behind some bushes. He was surprised to see a bird. It was yellow colored with orange wings and was singing loudly. As the bird said, bump, bump, the field turned around and became bumpy. Seeing this, the farmer jumped out and caught the bird. Sir, I'm sorry about this, but if you let me go now, I will tell you my story, said the bird. The farmer agreed to listen to his story. The bird said, I am a magic bird. I can do one magic at a time. Whatever I say it will happen, saying, bump, bump. I found it amusing. I can help you. Is there anything that your family deprived of? The farmer without hesitation said, we need milk. Okay, take me home. Feed me some grain every day. Whenever you would need milk, put a bucket near me. So the farmer took the bird home, and every morning and evening, he put a bucket near the bird. The bird said, milk, milk. The bucket was filled with milk no matter what its size was. The bird, the farmer, and his family lived happily together. 3. The Three Wishes Chapin the husband and Tori the wife were poor, but they lived happily. They made both ends meet by making, baking, and selling earthen pots. One day, Chapin went to the forest to get wood for his oven. He saw a tree. It was massive. It was a fig tree. He sharpened his axe with a stone. He was just about to throw his axe when he heard a voice. He turned around and saw that it was a fairy. Please don't cut this tree instead. Ask me three wishes and I will grant them, the fairy cried. Chapin agreed and went home. He told his wife about the wishes. Tori became happy and went to the kitchen. She brought food for her husband. It was a dish of mustard greens, sod, and the chapatis of wheat. She did not know how to make the chapatis of corn. A dish of sog. Seeing the sog, he said, I wish yummy maki dia rosha, the chapatis of corn flour. Corn flour chapatis. At once, the chapatis of corn flour arrived from somewhere. His wife felt insulted. Why did you waste your wish on chapatis? said his wife. Angry at his wife, he said, I wish these chapatis would hang from your ears. Whoosh! It happened, just the way he said. His wife kept shouting at him for wasting his second wish, and her ears were hurting. Then he wished, I wish these chapatis would go back where they came from. And that way, Chapin lost all his wishes. After this incident, Tori felt sad. She thought, if I had known how to make the chapatis of corn flour, my husband would not have wasted the wish on the chapatis. Then she started learning how to make corn chapatis. She watched many YouTube videos for this. Now she was competent. She could make nice thin and round ones corn chapatis. Now, Chapin was happy that his wife could make yellow chapatis. He sang a Punjabi song. A dish mustard greens, made in earthen pot by my wife. Chapatis of corn flour and the roux pounded well. A week later, they had a phone call from Canada. Chapin's bua was coming to visit them. Chapin's wife was happy. She thought she would serve bua sog and yellow chapatis. Bua came and stayed with them for two weeks. Then she went back to Canada. U.S. friend asked, How was your trip to Punjab? Bua replied with a Punjabi song. First time I went back to Punjab. Yellow chapatis and oh god sod. My niece-in-law made them every other day. 4. Story of nouns 2. Common nouns are words for people, animals, places, or things. My name is Banta Singh and I live in a small village, a place. I am a farmer, a people. I have two dogs, animals. The dogs love eating meat, a thing. 
Here are more words for people. Actor, lawyer, aunt, judge, baby man, baker, nurse, cook, police, officer, dentist, singer, doctor, soldier, giant, teacher. Here are more words for animals. Cat, goose, cow, hen, dog, horse, dolphin, mouse, duck, parrot, fish, shark, goat, whale. Here are more words for places. Airport, market, cave, mountain, church, playground, farm, restaurant, hill, school, hospital, seashore, hotel, stadium, house, supermarket, island, temple, mall, zoo. Here are more words for things. Bag, kite, box, ladder, bread, lamp, can, picture, chair, radio, cot, television, cup, train, desk, truck, door, watch, egg, window. More examples. One. There's a little bird in the garden. Two. Who is your teacher? Three. Don't eat that rotten apple. Four. Kate has a lovely doll. Five. I like reading stories. Six. My father is a doctor. Seven. Every child has a dictionary. Eight. Ruddy hates bananas. Nine. The phone is ringing. Ten. Here's a book for you. Special names for young animals. Dog. Hoppy. Cat. Kitten. Cow. Calf. Horse. Foal. Sheep. Lamb. Goat. Kid. Frog. Tadpole. Fox. Cub. Elephant. Calf. Kangaroo. Joey. Bear. Cub. Lion. Cub. Tiger. Cub. Whale. Calf. Five. Dialogues. New glasses. A. I can't read my book. B. Turn on the light. A. The light is on. B. Open the book. A. The book is open. B. See an eye doctor. A. That's what I need to do. B. He'll give you a prescription for glasses. A. I'll make an appointment tomorrow. B. I'll check on the Google for an eye doctor and their number. A. Read the phone number to me. B. I'll read it very loud, in case your hearing is getting bad too. New neighborhood. A. I just recently moved into the neighborhood. B. Is that right? How recently? A. Just last week. B. What kinds of things have you been doing out here? A. I haven't been doing much. B. Why not? A. I don't know what to do. B. There's all sorts of things to do. A. Like Bweth. B. How about shopping, or seeing a movie, or even going to the beach? A. That's more than I've been doing. B. There are plenty of things to do out here. 6. Picture Dictionary Page. This article was converted for free by the courtesy of Audio Read. If you enjoy the service, please consider upgrading your plan to listen to up to 500,000 words per article. Simply go to audioread.com slash ad, and you'll see the upgrade option. Your support helps us keep making the service better. Thank you.